Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody, the 24th of June. This is our weekly recap. If you want to join us, please click on the link description below live. Uh, come over to smartoptiontrading.com and join us with live trading alerts. So let's talk about this week. And this week has been a very interesting, if not um, difficult week. You know, last week we had a lot of weakness. We got a big doji candle last Friday. We gapped up. And for the last three days before today, we went sideways, but ultimately held in very strong using the eight days resistance. And today we gapped above it and we pushed and we're right elbow to the 21 day. And we've just about finished filling this gap here all the way up here to the 389.75 level. If we keep pushing, the next move would be to the next gap at 395.95. And then you can go fill that all the way up here to 401.44. All right, as the markets found some strength. What do we have going on next week? Well, you know, next week we have um, some inflationary data coming at us. We have PCE, we have ISM, and we have GDP. So all those will have to be watched closely and they could be a role in what we have going on next week. So we'll see how we react to that, all right? The other thing to realize is on the queues, we're starting to get heated up on the oscillators. Even the, the New York Stock Exchange is pushing into a little bit, touch a slightly overbought, but not a danger there as overall the markets continue to push higher. What we do have going on here is a market that found its strength. The queues have been leading. They are above the 21 day. The banks after their stress test yesterday, they woke up with a nice bounce that's helping out. The VIX has been absolutely smashed down way under 30, all the way back to the 27 area. Bonds continue to try to hold in. They're not leading. HYG corporate bonds, again, not leading like they did last time. That's a little bit concerning, but it's trying to push up. But thanks to FedEx earnings, the transports have woken up. We got a nice move out of that. You know, this move this week was really about different names. And, you know, we saw some strength in Tesla early, the struggling here. It's kind of come up into this uh, 740 area, and it's just struggling to get above it. It's just shy of it again today. But a nice move off the bottom, and it left gapped up and has left everybody trapped and trying to push up a little bit. Uh, traded Amazon a few times this week. Amazon has been very strong. It's pushed up. It has come in and just basically filled that gap. And that was something we talked about this morning about that and Microsoft with a gap to fill, which it did this morning. That's had a nice move. Apple has a gap here to fill, not able to push into it, not as strength. So, you know, Apple onto Monday has a gap below for a gap up today and a gap here above it. So just realize Apple's kind of on a little island on this candle. Um, you know, what else was strong guys help me out here with the Microsoft, even Netflix pushed into the oops, Netflix pushed into this gap had a nice day. Uh, China names have been strong. Baba continues to be very strong here. LI has have been very strong. These China EV names square yesterday had a big, 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 big move. Uh, we had a big put seller out into the 7845 puts yesterday it moved and here it is extending today. A firm also had a nice move going on with this. CRM, yep, nice move there. Big power move today on CRM today, filled a couple gaps. Actually, left island bottom, right? We gapped down here and we gapped up. So we now have a um, island bottom sitting here on CRM. And that can be, those can be very powerful, right? You just trapped all the shorts down here and they're now being, you know, they're now not happy about this. So, uh, you know, we had an island top up here. We created an island bottom now. And Boy, this thing's gapping and leaving a lot of people trapped all over the place, which makes it a little bit tough. Bottom line, it's been a great week in the markets. You know, nice week to make money with some strength in here. Uh, as we go into next week, we have a lot of data coming at us. I am away this weekend. I probably will not get charts posted this week. So just realize that. And I'm going to wish you guys a wonderful weekend. Link in the description, smartoptiontrading.com. If you want to join us, we'd love to have you. And we'll catch you guys in the room bright and early on Monday morning.